Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you are looking for a job, you can post your resume with us. In this video, I am going to talk about what is JUnit. JUnit is a simple open source framework to write and run repeatable test. It is an instance of XUnit architecture for JUnit for unit testing framework. JUnit originally written by Eric Kama and Kent Beck has been important in the evolution of test driven development. Test driven development means you write the you write first the test cases then you write your application real application code and check the test cases are not failing. Unit testing belongs to what are the benefits you'll be getting? Unit testing belongs to test a single unit of code which can be a single class for Java. So a single unit will be tested during the development itself. J unit helps us to code and test. You can do both. You'll be writing your application code parallel. You'll also write your test cases so that you're writing automating uh, automated test cases in order in order to check whether your application code is proper or not. J unit ensures that the modification of the code will not break your system without your knowledge. So someone accidentally changes something. So during the build it will fail and it will show you where exactly it, it failed. Instead of finding the same thing during the acceptance, acceptance test case, you can find it within the build itself. JUnit helps to test legacy code automatically. Say after two years you want to test some code, legacy code, JUnit helps a lot because to do the same thing it is to, to, to do the same thing manually it takes a lot of time. If you can do with J in it, it, it is very less time consuming and it's automatic. I have written a sample code a factorial. Okay, factorial class has a method called calc. Okay, this unit of code we are going to check all the combinations because that's how we can cover the code. Code coverage is possible. So say here I'm checking if it is less than zero and greater than twelve, I'm going to throw illegal argument exception okay then if it is less than 2 I am handling some different way differently and uh, if it's a proper value I am calculating the result so this is the unit of code that I am going to test there are a lot of combinations I have written a test J unit test cases for this here I have written a lot of combinations okay and each combination say for example first one it, it says 0 what if I pass 0 what will happen if I pass 1, what will happen? What is the result? If I pass proper value, what is the result? If I pass negative value, what is the result? And if I pass more than 12, what will happen? So I am expecting an illegal argumentation, argument exception in the case of minus a negative value and greater value, greater than 12 value. Okay. So these are the 5 uh, small scenarios I have written to test this method. Let us run this and check how exactly it works. So right click run as J unit test cases. So the moment you run it, all these test cases independently will run and independently will check the code. Okay. So we have got all these five test cases successfully running. There is no error at all. So this is how you can run your J unit test cases. So it's very fast and it's automatically checked whether all this line of code is proper or not. Hope this video is useful thank you and all the best